we are here with our executive manager of Mobile County Public School System for our information technology, Mr. David Ackridge. And David, your department holds a very, very important part in all of this coronavirus um, stay at home message. Can you tell us what your employees are doing? Well, right off the bat, um, this morning, uh, well, <laughs> I got up this morning and went to Whitley Elementary School and part of my three week uh, or longer uh, parlay of handing out lunches. So this morning I spent from about eight o'clock till lunchtime delivering uh, lunches. We, I think we handed out almost a hundred wow. and it's growing every day. So uh, that's been a, that's been a total eye-opening experience for me. I mean, getting my food handler's card and, you know, I was cutting up tomatoes and and <laughs> helping make sandwiches. And, Does you your know, wife this, know that you're doing this? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is so on a different scale from what I've ever done before, but uh, I think on the other side of this, I'm going to be able to talk a lot about what our cafeterias do and how well they do. It's amazing. Um, and then, you know, my team, uh, our ITS, our, our IT team is just amazing. Uh, you know, we we left on Friday and we set up, uh, we used to, I think it's called GroupMe is a, because a normal cell phone doesn't allow you to put but like 20 people in a group text message and there's 43 of us. So we used this app on our phones called GroupMe and we put all 43 of us in there. And you know, as the director for this department, it's been amazing just to sit back and watch how everybody's working, uh, how everybody is handling business and answering questions. And, you know, I, I think we may have found a new way to collaborate and work together, even though we're in the office. It's, it's amazing to see how quickly you can ask a question and someone can answer it when there's 43 people listening. You don't have to try to call around the office to try to find out who knows this. And I really think we found a way to integrate. And, and I think from educational standpoint, there's going to be so many things we're going to learn on the backside of this. Um, it's going to be incredible. But I, I'm watching, you know, our, our office is manning the uh, hotline, the 7777 number. And we're on a rotation of three. Sometimes we have to add a fourth person. We're getting hundreds of calls a day and helping parents get logged into the students' <clears throat> programs already and Nearpod and other things. So, and, you know, helping employees find the Chrome browser to be able to get into certain things that they need to do while they're at home. So it's been a challenge, but it's amazing to watch this team work together. It's incredible. It's amazing. What I found amazing, even just answering the phones that they're doing on a regular work hours, they're also taking your voicemail messages and answering it the next day. And that's just, I mean, that's gotta be 30 or 40 calls. Yeah, you know, I was i was on the phone with uh, one team member coming home and, and while I was on the phone with that person, uh, the, another one was in the background answering and probably took five calls within the time that I was just talking for a few minutes. And I was just thinking, wow, you know, the, about the three hour points, about all you can handle on that because it just, it, it's it's a lot it's intense and you're right i mean there's so many things that that people in the department are still responsible for keeping email going keeping the network up you know and and they're having to do those things while they're answering calls and not not one person's complained i mean you know i think they realize that we're all in it uh, some of them are in the in the situation I'm in. Uh, they've got young children or older adults living at home with them, so they're having to work while they're balancing that. I, I have my three-month-old grandbaby here with me, and uh, you know I have my mother-in-law here with us. So yeah, we're all kind of huddled up and, and working here out of the house, and yeah, you know, we're doing all right. But it's it's really, to be honest with you, for us, it's really just day one. <laughs> Because <laughs> Saturday and Sunday really didn't count. <laughs> you know, I was telling you the other day, uh, you know, Monday's really starts the quarantine for us. <laughs> so this, this is, is not day three, this is day one. 
<laughs> okay, so besides having to man the um, phones, you guys also have online registration going on. That's a, a frequently asked question. And then there's frequently asked myths that are going on. Um, some people are thinking that we're giving out free laptops and computers. Can you <laughs> answer yeah. that? So, so I understand that uh, there's been some calls about that. I, I, I know that uh, Baldwin County has been a BY, uh, has been a one-to-one -one district for a while. They did uh, Apple iPads and iMacs for a while, and they did Chromebooks. Uh, but unfortunately, the the funding is just not there on this side of the bay. Uh, Mobile just does not have the funding. Uh, you know, we're a district with some 15, 20,000 more students. Um, a, a lot of our students are not in affluent areas, I guess you would say. And, and the funding is just a different source. And, and what we've done is we've worked real hard to get our network up and working where students can use their phones or other devices while they're at home. Because one thing I found, everybody's got a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has a cell phone, and we've tried to make uh, our network work where those things can can happen and work. And uh, unfortunately, the, it, you know, the millions that we would run into trying to make that happen is just a logistical nightmare. And uh, districts about our size have shown that they have about eleven hundred computers a week come in for repair. And we're just not equipped for that. And financially and the state's not really equipped financially so we're gonna try our best to maintain it with kids being able to use these finally they are able to use these cell phones and, and a lot of the work that's being assigned they can do that with with that or a in inexpensive tablet or you know a parent or grandparents computer at home so uh, we're hoping that's gonna work out and as I started out this interview what we have on the other side of this you know, we could get from a state level or from our level in Mobile County, we could say, hey, it's important that we get these devices out. I don't know what's gonna come on the other side, but right. uh, we're just going day by day. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely dispelling a myth there. We, we're we not <laughs> handing out internet and phones, and, uh, phones and, and computers, so we're not doing that. <laughs> and that's straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> and that's what we needed to know. Yeah, that's straight from it. Definitely. But what you guys are offering, uh, some great free resources. And your teachers have the ability to use all of that within our website, right? Our Office 365, some of our... Yeah, uh, so so I think we, we've not done a really good job over the years of advertising for parents. And, and the turnover for parents is a lot too. You have to... You know, the, we, we, we have to continue to educate. But yeah, we do have the Office 365 suite that's available. Uh, you know, it has Word and PowerPoint and Excel and, and other tools that's in there, many other tools, and in storage space too. And a lot of parents, I've had parents before uh, call me up and say, hey man, how can I get a copy of, of uh, Microsoft Word to put on my computer? And I go, don't you have two kids in school? And they'll go, yeah, so well, you've got five copies each for those students. They go, what? Like, so yeah, parents don't understand that. And, and the emails, the, the login and passwords that we're getting out for iReady and the other things from the 777 line are the same logins that you use to get into the OneDrive. So you just go to 365.mcpss.com. You put in that student's login and password. There's a plethora of all types of tools and things there for students to use and uh, we don't utilize it enough. And that may be one of those things too we do on the next side, uh, especially with our new Power School program platform coming in, they integrate really well with Office 365 and the OneDrive share storage and Teams and all the other things that's available. Uh, this, this Power School, which is gonna be our student information system, we're changing from I now, is a gold partner with Microsoft. So we'll hopefully we'll be binding a lot of those things together, a lot of that will be, now that parents will spend a, couple, you know, a month or so at home, they'll have some idea how to log into that too. So, I, you know, it'd be kind of exciting to see if we can really get this to take off. I think it'll be great. We're learning a lot. We're working a lot. 
<laughs> Is there anything you want to leave us with before we close out? You know, sometimes I just think, I, I'm a firm believer that when bad things happen, you have to, you have to learn from those things. You have to, to move forward and you have to accept what's given to you, move through it. And then when you're back in on the other side, you use that as a learning experience. And we're being pushed into doing things right now that we've thought about doing, we've kind of hem hawed around, we didn't want to do it, we did. And now we're being forced to really do a lot of things that's pushing us because of necessity. And I'm kind of hoping that that jump starts us into doing some things that, I mean, I really think home learning, online learning, a lot of things like that are really going to have a big uptake after this. I think parents are going to want a lot more of that. Um, I hope not out of fear, but out of sheer positive reaction of that, how it works. So I'm ready to absorb what's happening. You know, the, the first thing that I talked about when we, we met, you know, a few minutes ago, I said, you know, I already see ways inside my department we can collaborate work better just out of something that we did during this time. So we've got several weeks to learn. So I hope that uh, we can pick up a lot more tips <laughs> and work a lot more. But I do want to say how incredibly proud I am of the team that that's in our department. It's just, uh, you're part of that team. And uh, it, it, it's just amazing. It's just, I just couldn't ask for a better group. Just everybody's, everybody is working together. And it's it's just so much fun to watch. It, it is really, it's been, it's been fun just connecting. My phone went off at 6.30. My husband was like, what? And I was like, they've already started. Already started. <laughs> they've yeah. already started. It's day one. Day one. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's been great. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. I know you have got to get ready for your big day tomorrow morning back at Whitley, back at serving those sandwiches. We'll be making sandwiches and, and milk and <laughs> won't be making the milk, but I'll be hand to handing it out. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm a little sore. I'm totally bending over in that cooler and doing stuff. I said, those ladies work hard. They work real hard. We love seeing but you out there. I, I'm enjoying meeting new people and getting to talk to people. It's just, uh, it's a strange time. It's yeah. just unbelievably strange time, but uh, we'll make the best of it. We I know will. we, will. Well, we will. Leadership has been great and we really appreciate all that you guys are doing for Mobile County Public School System. We're family. We are. Thank you, Marcy. Thanks. Take care. Take care.